Okay, so I'm uh, back from Baja, and uh, I just wanted to comment about what went good, what went bad, what I'm going to change about the van. Uh, my last issue was before uh, before I left, and so uh, on the trip, it was kind of a great beta test, you know, beat the crap out of this thing on some bumpy roads, and uh, anyway, so uh, what I'd like to say was bad is, first of all, the fridge vent, so the fridge is right here. And so what I ended up doing is there's some holes in here, and so that's still I need to change that. So the the venting of the fridge uh, causes too much heat in this cabinet, and so uh, it it comes out. You know, there's some that comes out in here and stuff, and so the venting venting needs to be changed. And I'll put a I'll put some uh, square mesh over this and and create a big old opening for for venting. Uh, another thing that was bad is the headliner fell down. When I put the headliner up here, I used uh, not heat sensitive glue, and so when I got down to Baja, it was 85 degrees in December or something, and it was just came all down. So it was like it was hanging, it was about a foot down, so it had to duck. It's always kind of bad. And so uh, <clears throat> uh, another part was the uh, lighting over the stove. Now I've got lighting right here. Uh, so I got right lighting. Is that right there? And then that one's fridge, and this one's empty, and that's just a jack for 12 volts. And so it would be nice to have a little light right here over the stove for uh, making tea and stuff. And then the other part that was kind of inconvenient was the storage under the couch. I, I unfortunately put dog food down there. And once you pour dog food, when you, this loose sack of dog food gets down there, it's tough to get out. So that was kind of a bugger. I just need to change how... Maybe I'll put some doors right there or something around the back side of it. Uh, so that's all that was really bad about in here. The best thing I thought was this easy box. You know, you can see I still haven't emptied it. I kept my meter in here so I can do voltage checks and toilet paper and some, you know, some easy stuff to, you know, shot glasses. Got to have shot glasses right there. Anyway, that was, uh, that was, that was my thing that was favorite about this design. Other people's favorite, because once you get down there, down to Baja, it's a different kind of camping. Everybody's got to check out your stuff. So the best part they saw was this fridge. Actually, it's the fridge location. And so, you know, opening it from standing out here on the, on the ground, coming in here, and you're able to get into it, get a beverage or something. So the fridge facing right here, so this, the slider goes right there. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, other people's opinions favorite part about the van Another handy spot was the uh, Actually, it's kind of a liquor cabinet, but it was there's other stuff too. You know, it had water and beverages and other kind of stuff down there It was kind of nice out of the way. I kept my tea right here. Uh, there's a pillow storage and Stuff like that uh, let's see and the game table this thing right here is a cover for it goes right here so this right there but you flip it over <clears throat> and this thing works really nice is rolling dice on it uh playing cribbage backgammon uh, whatever so that goes right here but so but see the problem was when i put this in here there's all right there we go kind of wedges in there so you can kind of it would it fits in there anyway the problem with that is once again it traps the fridge heat so i think once i fix this fridge right here i'll be able to put this down here and not trap the heat in the box okay let's see uh another handy thing was this this box right here we kept my spatula spices i haven't cleaned it up yet still um uh, some food stuff ended up creating a whole food box I had it stored up here, uh, you know, beans and and cans of stuff and whatever. And so that this was kind of a handy box to have utensil storage. I probably still have utensils, lime squeezer, some knives, stuff like that. And so, <clears throat> and the two two uh, two bottles of propane right here, that was great. The uh, the big one here, when that one gets out, you just change out for that one. I didn't worry about the ventilation of the going down because. I just didn't. Uh, I think there's so much ventilation in here. Once I get the, you know, that 
this fan I kept that van the uh, the fan vent open all the time let's see the other good part was the uh, the garage so <clears throat> on the other side of this in the storage here I'll take you around so this turned out to be so in here was uh, personal storage. He kept his stuff here. I kept my stuff here. Uh, swim fins and jackets and stuff. It's real nice big cabinets. It's easy to get get our stuff into. Uh, this is where we kept the uh, big uh, outwell circus tent. We call it the circus tent because it's so huge. Um, <clears throat> and over here, this is like uh, taping things, and this is tools. And down here is water water storage. So this worked out really nice. I really uh, uh, the only the only problem is there's one little problem right here. So I had to change, I had to fix a flat, and so the the wrench comes up here, and it kind of bonks in, bonks into this right here. So it wasn't, it's not impossible, but you gotta make sure that the uh, lug wrench handle comes out here and doesn't bump into that if you're building one yourself. All right. list of stuff all right here we go okay so what I'm going to change so that was the good the bad and the good now here's what I'm going to change so I'm going to put this underneath here and then maybe put a receptacle right here something like that um, I'm going to build a dog seat maybe a box right here for here's the seat here we go right across here maybe have it flip across so it because the dogs the little whiny, whiny bastards. They need to. They need to see that the front, or they're just not happy about it. And uh, also, I think underneath this, with the uh, inverter going underneath, underneath the couch, I'm gonna have my other battery chargers for my house battery. So I when I run out, or I charge the uh, um, charge the leaf blower. Oh, that was a great thing too. A leaf blower. Uh, you know, a little battery power leaf blower really worked nice in here to get the sand out because there's sand everywhere every day down in Baja. Uh, let's see. What else I'm going to change is uh, the dog seat. There's lighting outside here. Uh, we seem to play play games and hang out on this side of the van on this this side here. So I'm gonna put some lights right here. Uh, some of these some of these little lights like this one right there. You know, these little guys like this. That one's off right now. Here, turn them on. Here it goes on. You know, turn the button on. Oh, not that one. This one. There it goes. Anyway, so <clears throat> uh, so that and tent lighting. Also, uh, so right out here, there's a tent about uh, like ten by ten, ten by twelve tent. I'm gonna put some lighting in that. And uh, let's see. And uh, also, I'm going to uh, build a blackout. I think uh, for up here, <clears throat> I think I'll just hang a stick that goes from here to here, and so it can swing. So it can swing out this way, and then on a stick. So that, so that when I close it, it'll it'll kind of go this way, and so then I can have this one covered when I'm driving. And I'll be able so for stealth camping. So I can sneak out the little gap here between the two pages, uh, pages of cloth, uh, blanket, whatever. <clears throat> oh, hey, this is kind of funny. This is a squishy ball down there, one of the inspection places in Mexico coming north. They literally checked this out. This is just, just a hand squishy, but it, it, they, they let me keep it. I said, you can have it. It's going to cause problems. They thought it was a big old bag of bad stuff but anyway that was pretty funny it <laughs> got some pressure for that going across the border it's just a squishy ball it's not full of coke or nothing <clears throat> and then also to uh black out the back windows of course uh just to uh, uh for a heat barrier uh same same reason to black out everything out it's just to, i mean not to black it out just so i can do stealth camping and insulate the windows let's see and uh i think that is about it these uh these hooks over here on the side didn't work very good, but they're kind of handy. I had to lash the surfboards to it so they wouldn't slide forward. It didn't really work all that great. <laughs> but, uh, and these were pretty handy for, uh, you know, cutting up a fish on it and then washing it in seawater. It's kind of a nice little cutting place for doing stuff. So I think these were really handy. It's just a piece of plywood. 
but it's kind of handy to sit out there to uh, dice up stuff on that. Be able to coat it with a piece of plastic for a real cutting board. And uh, that's about it. So this van, van worked really well. Oh, 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 there's one more thing. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm gonna trust the old trailer. It's work. So this is a two door, uh, what it was, two slider door van. And so on this side, this is where I kept my solar stuff, you know, for my daily battery charging and the leaf blower, kept it right here. And the solar panel this is really in a kind of nice little storage. I might make a door right here to get underneath the box too. So anyway, that is about it. And uh, had a great trip to Baja. And uh, there's my bike. That thing is a beast, it worked great. And uh, anyway, yep, Ford Transit worked great for me, thanks.